Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to transpose rows into columns in Oracle database. So we have to use idea pivot to operators. So about the pivot operator, so this is the syntax here. So first select a star from and here select column column two and here from table name where condition and here pivot. So with pivot you have to use any aggregator function like max mean sum here. And here after for column two and here in so here you passed so whatever you passed at here so this convert into columns so this rows value is now convert into columns and here after order by give any column name so it it can be ascending or descending so first I'm going to show you about my table so at here I'm using all uh, this table and here after so this table so this is the table at here so this table of Rows values. So rows values at here 2018, 2019. So this rows value I am going to convert into columns. So at here 2018 and 2019. So let's write the query. So at here select a star from Z. So this is the records inside in Z or table. So at here or select a star. Select a star from now here after let's use select a statement or select a statement so at here I'm going to select year month and amount year next month here after amount and here after from table name Z. Now close my bracket and uh, here after let's use pivot operator. So pivot operator and here going to use aggregator function sum. And here let's pass amount columns. So that will do the sum of amount columns and here for year. So here is the column. Now here after let's use in so at here going to pass at here 2018 and 2019 rows. So 2018 and here 2019. Now here after let's uh, so this is the part of pivot. Now close my bracket. And here after let's use order by order by month now if you execute this query so see at here or the value it's coming 2018 and 2019 and here if you execute the table so this is the z table so 2018 has the rows okay 2018 has the rows values and here 2019 or uh, was the rows but after applying pivot operator and writing this query so it's now converted into the columns so 2018 it's 2018 and 90 it's now in converting into columns and here after that are doing the or uh, sum on the columns so at here this is the output so if you want then here you can change also so let's give at here in place of sum I'm going to find out max. Now let's execute that. So see at here it's displaying uh, from April. So this is the maximum values in April or uh, 2018. So let's check that. So April 2018. So there is a one values or uh, 987. So if there are multiple values then you can find out. 987 it's a display so if you have multiple values at here in this rows then you can find uh, which is the maximum amount in the columns now here after i'm going to show you one more example so in rows into columns so, so this is the record at here so this record i'm going to convert into at here so this is the year, year. so year 2010 2011 20 so this rows value I am going to convert into columns. So I am going to convert and here this is the name. Now let's and here after I will do the uh, 
aggregator function so first i will do sum then after i will check with max aggregator function so let's write the query so it is going to show you first the table that i'm using so select a start from pivot underscore tab now let's check the records so this the record inside now here after going to write the query so select a star from and here after let's write sub query part select so going to select name here year and here cells from a pivot underscore tab now here, here after let's use pivot operator and here going to do the first sum so sum says and here after for year and next in so at here going to pass 2010, 2011, and here 2012. Now, after let's give order by. So, order by and your name. So, making the name on order by. Now, if you execute this query. So add here right parenthesis, I forget to give add here one parenthesis more. So this parenthesis for event operator. Now let's execute that. So see add here, I'm getting the expected output. So this is the expected. So add here, this value is now, this all are rows value. So rows value is now converted to the columns. So this is the way we can transport rows into columns and your name. Now here after I did the sum. So add here first that check 2010. So 2010 add here this is the query. So add here pivot sum cells. Okay. So first that to the sum cell on 2010. So 2010 or uh, there is so add here or uh, 2010 it's a uh, displaying 67800. So 2010 add here rayon. So max add here rayon. So Rayon, let's check Rayon where it is Rayon. So it's a 2012. Now here this is a Rayon. So 2010, the year match. So that here it will add 72,500 with 23,000. Now it's a output come 95500. Now here after next max. So max add here or 2010. So 2010 max, yeah max. So max has only one value so that here it's a sum displaying 67,800. Now here after Russell. So Russell at here, Russell 2010. So it to Russell at also have there is a one value. So it's a displaying 60,500. Now here after max 2011. So max 2011. So there it is. So only one value is 7 at 6000. So it's a display. Now here after Russell 2011. So Russell 2011 and here Russell 2011. So if you add 45000 plus 4580. So add here the Russell value it will come 49580. So this is the way we can find or sum and we can transpose any columns sorry any rows into columns now here after if you want then here you can give at your max here so let's use max aggregator function so this will display at your maximum value so at your uh, let's copy that one and paste it yeah so see at your i'm getting max so max 2010 2010 there is a max uh, there is only max so that it's a display of 67800 so that's uh, 2010 so 2010 one Russell 
and here there is only one rasa. So that here it's a display 60,500 down. So and here 2010, 72,000 and here there is only there are one more down. So and here 72,500 greater than 23,000. So that here it's a display 72,500. So this is the way we can find out maximum value in the columns and this is the way we can convert any uh, rows into columns. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over and here after if you want to just uh, one more thing if I enter 2019 let's see what happened. So at here it's a, a 2019 it accepted but at here there is no any uh, dead uh, accept of uh, all null values. So these are the things. Next time, next time you should try to enter max, mean, count, other aggregator function, and or do and do some like uh, uh, do some modification and check what output you are getting. So let's uh, try to give at you and start in what output you will get. So you should try to check this all those things. Okay, so. Then uh, if you try to check or do modification then that will help you to increase your logic about this query. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.